Greetings. You can call me Candy. So I have been dating this guy for like eight months now, and all of a sudden he sent me a text breaking up with me two weeks ago. Honestly, my heart aches horribly every time I try to digest that our relationship is over. I do not understand half the reasons he explained for doing this to me. I told myself I am a woman of integrity, so I will not chase a man. But deep inside, I wish things were different. Every morning when I wake up, I hope he will say he wants me back. But I realize he is really gone, and he meant every word he said. I want to move on, but I am still so hung up on him. How do I get over my ex? Hello, Candy. Breakups are one of those life bombs that hit us hard, but with time, we've got to get back up. They leave the heart wounded, and it's up to us to heal that wound and clean it and nurse it till it has reached full recovery. Relationships are different. And people break up for different reasons. While some break away from toxic relationships, some break up because they want to pursue different paths. Some break up because of a cheating partner, and others because they feel that the relationship does not fulfill their relationship needs. Some couples break up after being together for two months, while other couples break up being together for basically their whole lives. All in all, breakups are a result of incompatibility. With that said, recovering from a breakup may slightly differ from person to person depending on the circumstances of the breakup. Here are some steps that can help you in your healing journey. Step number one: face it. You won't get over the things you don't face. If unattended, all that pain just gets buried away with time, and even after you think you are over your ex, it leaps out here and there, affecting your new relationships. Face what happened: the fact that he actually broke up with you. Assess how you feel about it and why. Be honest with yourself because no one is listening. It's just you, face to face with your heart. Do you really not understand why he left you, or you just don't want to? Do you want him back even after all this, and why? Some people hurt recklessly after being dumped just because they do not like the feeling of being rejected, even though it is clear that what happened is for the best. This is where the real healing comes from. It comes from within while you're being honest with yourself. Step number two: talk. Talk to your ex. Bottling emotions and unanswered questions is like holding pee in. So uncomfortable and painful. Wouldn't it be relieving to just let it all out and be free with a clean heart and no confusion? The aim here is to not have any regrets. The little questions and emotions you keep in will be with you for your entire life, constantly creating insecurities and a new incompetent character. Questions like Why didn't he wait for me? Couldn't we? We have worked it out. Why couldn't it be me? Is it something I did? Why did he cheat on me? You might find out your ex is going through something that made him feel like he needed space for, even from you, or maybe he felt like you don't understand him. Maybe it really has nothing to do with you, or it does, but you need to know for your own peace of mind. This will prevent you from overthinking and jumping to conclusions that might not even be true. More importantly, it. Will prevent the birth of unnecessary insecurities. Bottled words and emotions are like a flame that keeps burning you every time you think of what you wish you could tell or ask him. The sooner you let out those feelings, the sooner the flame fades. I don't mean you should overdo it. While the breakup is still new, like within a month's time, you can talk to your ex and settle the breakup peacefully. This is where you can both reach a mutual understanding of the breakup. However, not every breakup. Give someone an opening to talk after it takes place. This is why you need the next step. Step number three: Talk to your friends and family. There is more than one way to unbottle your emotions and thoughts. If you can't talk to your ex, find someone you are willing to talk to about your breakup. Friends and family have a way of being on your side whenever you tell your side of the story. Let it all out. Receiving such support will give you a sense of validation and confidence that things. Will work out, and while you are battling with the feeling of rejection, it will be a sort of override to that feeling of rejection when you see that you are surrounded by people who want you in their lives. Step number four: Try to get your ex back. This step is only if you want to. Only if, after assessing your heart face to face, you still feel like you really want him back, and you feel like you can't move on. Again, the aim here is to not have any regrets years later. This is. 
so that your wish of getting him back doesn't stay or follow you around forever. As crazy as it sounds, this is a major step. This is where most people actually get over their ex once and for all. They try to get her or him back until they one day just don't want to do it anymore. So, hey, the thing is, I know a great little restaurant right near here. Maybe you and I could go for a nice long dinner. Um, you know what, I just kind of feel in like a, a girl's night. You understand, right? Yeah, sure. I'll catch you later. You go have a great time. Thank you. Now that sounds like true healing. Even after trying once and failing, knowing that you tried actually sets you free. You can try this while the breakup is still new. Maybe you feel you can make it up to him. Maybe you know if you told him the full story, he could forgive you and let you in. As we already mentioned, people break up for different reasons. While some are concluded, some still have a chance of being reverted. I'm not saying chase the person forever. No, 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 no. Just give one best try while the breakup is new and it doesn't work move on step number five accept it well it is only now that you can actually truly move on you have talked it out and you have dealt with everything that was unsettled you tried to change this reality and it didn't work now you can accept it this is where you should realize that this person actually thought this through and made a personal decision to break up with you this is where you can choose to respect their choice this is where you can choose to set him free from your heart as well if he wants to leave let him he already left anyway now it's all up to you to set yourself free as well and the only way you can do that is to let him go as long as you don't want to let him go you will not be able to move on all this pain frustration and craziness you are feeling comes from the fact that you don't want to accept what has already happened this is one of those situations where to have freedom you have to give freedom step number six don't rush you don't have to push the person out of your heart by force you can keep his gifts if you like them appreciate and smile to the memories you have if you want to it's like losing a loved one we don't stop loving them when they are gone but with time we eventually move on take your time to adjust to the life without him sometimes true relationship maturity is realizing that loving someone doesn't mean you should have them they are not a piece of jewelry after all it is often the denial and resistance that makes you even more hooked on an ex. Lying to yourself will not get you anywhere either. It's a lie after all. Try being honest to yourself because even your ex can't hear your thoughts. You are safe. Now tell yourself the truth. Believe me, it works like magic. Telling yourself you don't want to see him when you actually do will make you miss him more. It's okay to miss him. Don't be so hard on yourself. Look at his pictures. If you want to stalk him on social media, Media, do so. One of these days you're gonna catch yourself stalking on him and you're gonna ask yourself why are you even doing this to yourself. You're gonna feel ridiculous about it. Eventually you're gonna feel nothing when you see him. Even when seeing him with another girl. Sounds ridiculous right? Just like medicine. Step number seven. Choose yourself. Breakups often feel like a rejection even though they occur as a result of incompatibility. Choosing yourself can be a sense of fighting the darkness that wants to grow from within making you feel like you should drown in despair surround yourself with good energy and beautiful landscapes our surrounding is proven to influence how we feel inside maybe ask someone out for a picnic date and venture into a new self-care routine your heart needs to feel that you are not quitting on yourself like your ex did let me put it like this for a moment see yourself as another person next to you if you were someone else would you choose you i assume you said yes then love yourself because you really need it right now. Be on your own side. Be there for you and choose yourself. Step number eight. Realize your ex is not your enemy. If relationships were a place you enter but can't leave, then it would surely be a prison. Breakups are not such a bad thing. They are there to ensure you can find what you're looking for, to ensure we do not force people to be with us, and to ensure we are also not forced to stay with people we do not want to be with. 
more importantly they make sure you can find the person who wants to be with you the same way you want to be with them realize that at least he has set you free from him now set yourself free by setting him free forgive him if you feel he has wronged you then you will truly be free thank you candy for emailing the question forum these are some of the things you could do to get over your ex remember not to be hard on yourself because honestly change takes time hopefully this will be all you actually needed to turn things around if you enjoyed this video let me know by leaving a like and possibly a comment i would love to hear your opinions also subscribe if you are interested in seeing similar videos this is tandega with the question forum thank you